Seeking solace, hundreds of people chanting in unison, all in search of inner peace. Leading the service, Master Xian Shi, who's been a monk for nearly six years. You could say he's one of the more senior members, but at just 28, he's also one of the youngest. Master Xian Shi has a university degree. He could have had his pick of any career. But right after graduation, he chose to reject a life of wealth and material possessions and fully embrace the teachings of Buddha instead. My parents were very sad when I told them my decision to become a monk, and I remember my mother crying really badly. But they respected my decision. My father just wanted me to think clearly and be responsible for what I decided to do. Master Xian Shi became interested in philosophy while studying at the Beijing Normal University. That's also when he started volunteering here at the Longquan Buddhist Temple on the outskirts of the capital. He was so moved by the teachings in the ancient scriptures that he decided to devote his entire life to spiritual study. There are three things in Buddhism that appealed to me. The first is its call for rationality. The second is its inclusive attitude. And the third is its theoretical system and easy ways to practice. Buddhism is one of the world's oldest philosophies and religions. It's based on the teachings of a Sohada Gautama, the Buddha, who lived sometime between the 6th and 4th centuries BC. The word Buddha itself means the awakened one in Sanskrit. Its history tells of an enlightened man who spread his ideas to help people end ignorance, craving and suffering, and promoted acceptance and compassion by explaining to them how all things are connected. The goal of all followers is to reach the level of Buddha's enlightenment through chanting the ancient scriptures and meditation. They hope to be released from all suffering, a state called nirvana. In China, there are around 300 million Buddhists, but the number could be higher because not all followers have registered. But of those 300 million believers, only a small fraction, just 200,000, are Buddhist monks and nuns. Giving up your family, your career, and almost everything in your former life to come to this temple and become a monk is a huge sacrifice. It is not one many young Chinese are willing to make. So, Master Xian Shi is a very much the exception. Others, though, are finding ways to embrace Buddha's teachings while continuing their regular lives. People like Zhang Jing, she's what's known as a lay Buddhist, someone who works and lives a conventional life while finding time to study at home. There is one sentence in Buddha's teachings that impresses me most. It says you must be sincere no matter how you embrace Buddhism and that you will not learn anything from Buddha if you only think about material tributes. And like Zhang Jing and Master Xian Shi, more and more young Chinese have come to embrace Buddha's teachings. Many have come to this Saturday morning service in Beijing for a group meditation. I converted when I was 13 and I have gained a better understanding of myself and I know what I need to do to contribute to the society. After I converted, I always receive unexpected help every time I'm in travel. I think it has a lot to do with my religious belief. So, why the upsurge in young Buddhist believers? This professor of religious studies says it has a lot to do with the increasing pressure on young people as China continues its rapid economic development. Nowadays, people's material lives have been largely enriched, but that doesn't necessarily release their spiritual crisis, so Buddhism is able to offer that spiritual assistance. Master Xian Shi sits in silence. Meditation is a practice to release the pressures in a stressful life. Taking the vow to lead by example, the young monk is ready to help anyone interested in understanding Buddha's teachings, while remaining a lifelong student himself. Inner peace and nirvana won't be easily found, but many young Chinese say the search itself has already had positive effects on their lives. For Ward Inside, I'm Tang Bo in Beijing.